Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of two dimensional and three dimensional shapes. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, Chris is building a fort using prisms. So which figure is not one that he could have used to build his fort? All right, so we're trying to identify which of these is not a prism. Well, let's see if we can just put names on these and help us. We've got a cube. All right, we've got a rectangular prism. All right, we have a triangular prism. And then we have a pyramid. Specifically, it's a square-based pyramid. I don't think that really matters. Just a pyramid. All right, well, Chris is building a fort using prisms. So which one is he not going to use? Well, look at this. Prism, prism. He's definitely using these two. Hmm, we are stuck between cube and pyramid. So you know what we need to do? Rather than just relying on the actual name, we need to get back into what is the actual definition of a prism. All right, so let's bring that out here. So prism. So it is a 3D shape. Okay, well, all of these are 3D shapes, so that's not going to help us. So it's a 3D shape. It has two similar bases. that are connected by rectangles. Now that's just a very loose definition. You can get a lot more technical if you were to Google it, but that's gonna work for our uh, third grade problem here today. So let's take a look at the two prisms that we know are prisms, right? So we've got two similar bases right here. So I've got a triangle right there, triangle right there, right? So probably better than similar, a better word would be congruent. Similar ends up meaning something else once you get into later mathematics. And so we've got two congruent bases. And look, they're connected with here's a rectangle, there's a rectangle, and then there's a rectangle. Same thing with this. This rectangular prism is actually, this one actually has two, looks like two square bases, but it could be two rectangle bases. It doesn't really matter. And then it's connected by four different rectangles, the top, the bottom, the front one, and then the back one. Okay. So let's look at this pyramid. I've got one base, but look, there's no matching base up here so it doesn't have two bases it only has one so that i don't think is going to be our prism let's check this cube well they're all six faces are the same they're all squares okay so let's just pretend the top and the bottom i'm just gonna have to pick two right those are my two bases okay are these two congruent well yeah they're both squares Okay, so it's got this first part, correct, but are they connected by rectangles? No, they're connected by squares. But remember, squares are a type of rectangle. Remember, we've got rectangles and rhombuses. So squares are a type of rectangle. So actually, this is a prism because it's connected by four squares, which are a type of rectangle, which means the cube is a prism. We just call it a very special type of prism. It's got six square faces. That is a prism, which means we're not going to use it. The one that Chris is not going to use is going to be J.